Good morning, Nani Farishto. So today we are going to solve and explain a worksheet based on Chapter 1, which is going to school from your EVS textbook for Class 4th, looking around of NCERT CBSC. Disclaimer, the images shown in this video do not belong to me. They are taken from the internet for the teaching learning process. Lesson 1. Going to school. Question. Choose the correct answer. So what do you see in this picture? Very good. This is the picture of a bridge. And tell me, uh, is this bridge built across a river or a road? Very nice. This bridge is built across a river. The options were road or river and you chose the correct answer. This bridge is built across a river. And this bridge, this is built across a river or a road. Very nice. This bridge is built across a road. Next question, draw a picture of a bridge. So you can draw the picture of any bridge that you have come across. Uh, it may be a wooden bridge or a bamboo bridge or a cement bridge, any bridge. And then color it. What do you see in the picture children? See, these children, they are going to school with so many difficulties. In the first picture, look at the condition of the bridge children. It is a rope bridge with wooden planks which are broken. And the children, they are also climbing on the bridge. See, and in the second picture, the children, they are going to school on a tube, tire tube. In the third picture, such a difficult mountain terrain. These children are walking on slippery snow and difficult mountain terrain. And in the fourth picture, look at the condition of the rickshaw. So many children with their bags, how they are sitting on the rickshaw, overcrowded rickshaws. So the question is, enlist various problems faced by students in rural areas while going to school. Enlist various problems faced by students in rural areas while going to school. Answer, students in rural areas face many problems such as crossing rivers, difficult mountain terrains, snow and slippery terrains, overcrowded rickshaws, etc. Again, we are going to read the question. Enlist various problems faced by students in rural areas while going to school. Answer. Students in rural areas face many problems such as crossing rivers, difficult mountain terrains, snow and slippery terrains, overcrowded rickshaws, etc. Question, where all have you seen the use of pulleys? Where all have you seen the use of pulleys? So, uh, let's see a video showing the use of pulleys. See, with the help of the pulley, this child is lifting such a heavy object so easily. So what is a pulley? A basic pulley comprises of a wheel achieve the same result. So we know that if you are not able to lift heavy objects, what we have to do? We have to use a simple machine called pulley. In this picture also, this uh, man, he is lifting a 
heavy load with the use of a pulley and we know we saw in the video that if he uses two or more pulleys with a longer rope then he can lift with less force and this is a closer view of a pulley see it's such a heavy bucket but Didi is able to take out water with very little force and these are few more pictures of pulleys the use of uh, pulleys in cranes for lifting loads and flag hoisting when we host our flag then also we use a pulley that pulley a uh, rope is attached to the pulley so now answer the question where all have you seen the use of pulleys answer taking out water from the well lifting heavy loads lifts hoisting flag etc again read the question where all have you seen the use of pulleys answer taking out water from the well lifting heavy loads lifts hoisting flag etc next question name few means of water transport name few means of water transport answer vallam rowboat motorboat houseboat sailboat ship etc question name few means of water transport answer vallam rowboat motorboat houseboat sailboat ship etc and these are the pictures of see the first picture is of a rowboat in a rowboat you row with your own uh, muscle power and a sailboat in which a big cloth is used to uh, use the direction of the wind for rowing the boat and in the third picture it is a motor boat in which a motor is attached to the boat and in the fourth picture it is a ship big ship with uh, uh, so many rooms and facilities swimming pool gym etc this is this row boat is called vallam in kerala and in the second picture you can see uh, so many people they are uh, rowing the boat actually this is a boat race this boat race is held in kerala every year this is also a small house boat in kerala and it is called kattavelu and you can see there are rooms with curtains for sleeping and there is an open drawing room kind of thing where sofas are kept so that you can sit and watch the view outside so these are few means of water transport next question how do you feel riding in a camel cart or a horse cart how do you feel riding in a camel cart or a horse cart answer it is a bit shaky but i enjoy riding on them it is a bit shaky but i enjoy riding on them so let's see few videos which i have taken from internet showing how children are enjoying a horse cam a cart ride and camel cart ride next question what kind of wheels do bullock carts have what kind of wheels do bullock carts have answer we just saw in the video na bachi ki uh, the uh, the carts they had big wheels and they were made of wood answer bullock carts have large wooden wheels with iron rims bullock carts have large wooden wheels with 
iron rims next question name any four animals used as a means of transport name any four animals used as a means of transport so these are few animals which are used as a means of transport yak elephant camel buffalo horse donkey uh, reindeer llama no and this is the pony so these are few animals which are used as a means of transport so name any four of them name any four animals used as a means of transport answer bull camel horse elephant bull camel horse elephant how do you feel riding in a camel cart or a horse cart so we just saw it is a bit shaky but i enjoy riding on them so the next question is differentiate between a bamboo bridge and a cement bridge differentiate between a bamboo bridge and a cement bridge so this is a cement bridge no strong bridge it can take the weight of all kind of land transports and uh, it is made of cement iron rods bricks and this is these are the materials used for cement bridge cement bricks sand iron rods and this is a bamboo bridge as the name suggests it is made up of bamboo and rope bamboos are tied with rope this is a temporary bridge see no land transport can go on the bridge can you imagine a car or a cycle or a scooter going on this bridge no it is difficult to walk on this bridge if you use a uh, walk barefoot then it is bit easier because you with the help of your toes you can uh, form a grip on the bamboo but with shoes it is little difficult and this is another kind of bamboo bridge so uh, the difference between cement bridge and bamboo bridge is number 1 it is very strong cement bridge is very strong on the other hand bamboo bridge it is not very strong first difference is it is very strong it is not very strong second cement bridge it is very heavy bamboo bridge it is light cement bridge is heavy and bamboo bridge is light third it is easy to walk on it it is easy to walk on a bamboo bridge on a cement bridge but it is little difficult to walk on it because but it is easy to walk barefoot on it it is easy to walk on it it is little difficult to walk on it but it is easy to walk barefoot on it fourth we can ride with any land transport on it we cannot ride with any land transport on it fifth it is made of bricks cement sand and iron rods it is made of bamboos and ropes sixth lot of time and money is required to build it less time and money is required to build it ek baar fir se padhenge let's read once again difference between a cement bridge and bamboo bridge first it is very strong it is not very strong second it is very heavy it is light third it is easy to walk on it it is little difficult to walk on it but it is easy to walk barefoot on it fourth we can ride with any land transport on it we cannot ride with any land transport on it fifth it is made of bricks cement sand and iron rods 
It is made of bamboos and ropes. Sixth, lot of time and money is required to build it. Less time and money is required to. Is it easier to walk on the bamboo bridge using shoes or barefoot? Why? Answer, it is easier to walk on the bamboo bridge barefoot because it has more grip using toes. Answer, it is easier to walk on the bamboo bridge barefoot because it has more grip using toes. So with this we come to the end of this video. God bless you always.